Now I'm going to go refresh this page. Let's see what happens to the form title. It's gone. It moves it up. Beautiful. Now I don't have duplicate contact Kyle and I'm ready to rock. That's how you in, insert using the insert form button uh, right there where it says insert upload. Thanks a lot. What we're going to have here is ID number two. Uh, if I go back to this specific page, I have ID number one. If I look on the website right now, I go to the home page, I come in to see contact Kyle. Oops, we can't locate the form because it's still looking for ID number one. So I need to go change it. And if you guys recall, I deleted that, that form. So I'm just going to go change this to ID number two. Hit update and refresh the site, come in to contact Kyle, and boom, there's this form. So his form's ready to go. Now, what we want to do is test it. So Dale Stauffer, 480-226, GPQ Dale, uh, this is a test. Um, Kyle, let me know that you got it. And then the CAPTCHA, I have to fill in, so I'm not spamming him. And I think that says L-Y-I-N-E-S-M-I-D-B-L-E. Now this CAPTCHA isn't exact, uh, so if you get close, it's probably going to let you in. And it looks like it let me in. Thanks for contacting us. And this is another thing that, that needs to be edited. Um, but Kyle should have gotten an email uh, very soon that is a form from me. And I'm going to bring in my email um, to look to see if I got an email from Kyle. And there's the email from Kyle saying, thanks for contacting me. I will contact you shortly at the contact information you, supply, you supplied found below. So Kyle's gonna call me at that phone number or email address. This is a test, Kyle, let me know that you got it. So now as long as Kyle gets the email, we're in business. Um, Kyle, did you get it? Excellent. So I love it when a plan works. Okay. Well, I know from the consumer's end, the consumer got it. Now let's go back in and edit this form um, to reflect a little better response to the, um, to the user. Now what I can do is in advanced, sorry, in, con I think it's confirmation. So in confirmation, I don't know if you guys saw how I got there, but on this very first box, you hit edit the form and then you, you have three tabs. There's where we changed uh, what the form says when you first get to it. Then there's a confirmation. Now you can set up a couple of different things on how this form works. You can just set up a text message that pops up like the one I did um, when I submitted my form. You can actually have it go to a, a thank you page where you can put in some type of an offer or additional information. Um, you can make it go back to the home page if you want. Uh, or you can redirect it to some other page offer, etc. So here I'm just gonna I'm gonna change this to say thanks for contacting me. I will get you in touch I will get in touch with you shortly. And I'm now gonna save this form and boom his form is ready to roll. Now um, this is one form and now I'm, let's go look at Kyle's site really quick and see Kyle do we have any pages that are actually set up let's see so that's I think I'm, I'm just going to add another page Kyle to your site yeah I'm going to just add a page to um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this Control C, and I'm going to go do another page 
and we're going to do test. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do a new page. Add new page. There's my new page. I'm going to call it test offer. And I'm in the HTML tab. Come on. Okay. And I'm going to paste that form ID into this test offer page. Now, I'm, I'm ahead of time because I'm efficient. I'm going to change this to ID number three because I know that that's going to be the next page up. So I'm going to publish this page. Hang on one second. I'm checking a setting to make sure I have this set up right. Okay. Oops. All right, so I'm coming back to this. Uh, I just published this page, and now I want to create a form to go on that page. So I go back to my forms, and I'm going to do new form. And I know that this is form ID number three. So I'm going to say, um, actually, I'm going to do this a different way. Sorry. I'm going to start with the edit forms and I'm just going to duplicate this form because I've already got it in there. Oh, uh, before I move on, if you notice, this says edit, preview, entries, notifications, duplicate, delete. And if you notice, it says entries one. What's great about this is this will keep track of anybody who submits a form on your site. So let's go look at it to, just to see what it says. There it is, Dale Stauffer. There's my phone number. There's my email. How may I help you? So uh, you, it's, it's basically a small little customer relationship management database for you right inside this form. You can go keep track of uh, anybody or, or you can certainly, like if you miss an email or something, anything that gets sent into your site through Gravity Forms gets dumped into this little database. So you can always see who has been um, sending information into your site from the past. Now, uh, I'm going to edit forms and I'm going to duplicate this particular form because I want to. I don't want to go through the work of creating it all again. So I'm going to start this form again. And if you notice, it says copy one. Now I'm going to come in here and edit it. And I'm going to edit this first one. And I'm going to say, this is a test offer from Kyle. And that's all I'm going to do to change this thing. Because the, the point is that you guys can see how to, how to quickly make new forms. So I'm going to save this. Update form. All of this is still the same. So I don't have to fiddle with that. It does copy everything over. And now I go to the site. And you've noticed that that form I created isn't on here. So I need to go add that specific page to my menu. So here's my test offer page. Add it to the menu. Scroll down. There's my test offer. I'm going to leave it there so we can see it on the menu pretty easily. And I've now, I'm saving my menu. Okay, it's now been saved. I'm going to refresh my screen. And there's my test offer page. I click it. And voila, there it is. So I now have a test offer. So I, if, if, if you guys are using your, your brains at the moment, um, it's, I guess it's not, it's before noon, sorry. Uh, or you've had enough coffee or whatever, you might start to be thinking about how this, how you can use this. And one way could be, um, you know, creating some type of a, a, an image and an offer for what is your home worth or uh, list your home with me or view this home now or 
you know, some other offer that you want to give away, say you want to give away an ebook or something for, you know, and you want to start generating leads and building a list of future clients, you can now begin to use this form in, in more powerful ways. So I'm going to, I'm going to dump a blog post inside Arrowhead Ranch, uh, this category and show you how you can use this as a blog in your blog, inside your blog. So I'm going to go to, uh, I don't need menus anymore. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to go to blog post. And I'm going to add a new blog post. Here I am. I'm going to say this is a test blog post. We are using this post to demonstrate how to use forms and blogs. Now, I'm in my HTML tab, so I can paste in my code for the gravity forms. And I'm actually gonna change this to three because I wanna use the test one that I just made. So here I've written this post. It's gonna go into the Arrowhead Ranch category and I'm gonna publish it. So where you can start using this and, and uh, Kyle had said, you know, he's gonna write some summary articles about Arrowhead Ranch. So here he is, he's, you know, he's done his He's done his writing, uh, writing, written content, oops, content about, dang it, about Arrowhead Ranch follows. If you would like to view homes in Arrowhead Boom. So he's now given them an offer for, if you'd like to view homes in Arrowhead Ranch for sale, please contact the form below. And I'm gonna update this blog post. So he's now he's done a blog post. He has entered in his new form and he's published it to Arrowhead Ranch. So I'm gonna go refresh my site and communities Arrowhead Ranch I know he set that up as a, as a category. This is a test blog post, voila. We are using this post to demonstrate how to use forms and blogs, written content, da, da, da. There's the form that we inserted. There, that's the whole thing. So you can use this form, uh, gravity forms in multiple different ways on the site. You can use it at the bottom of posts. You can use it in the bottom of pages. You can use it for different offers, different anything you want, and it will track um, your activity. Now, what's great is, or it will capture all of the activity, and then you can go look at it. So here I am with edit form. Oops. There, edit forms. Now, what he can see is, you know, let's say that, that Kyle gets to where he has 10 forms on his site. He can see that every time his forms viewed, he can then add, you know, he can go see, well, you know, the form I have on this page isn't really working or the forms I have in multiple blog posts is working. So I can do more of that to capture more con, you know, more potential visitors, etc. So that's how you use uh, gravity forms for implementing on your site to capture um, more and more users and build lists and develop clients on your site. I'm gonna open this up for questions and answer them as you guys have them. All right, so who has questions? Yep, good question. Um, so in the quick and dirty, I left it the way I did, but I'm now gonna do what you suggested and I'm gonna go change the notifications piece. So I'm gonna edit forms and I'm actually gonna change the notifications right here and I'm going to say that this form isn't just from leads from Winter Homes in Arizona. I'm going to say this is.